He would sit on the deck in his old green chair and drink tea with the morning sun. When I was thirteen, it always did seem he'd been there since time had begun. Sometimes when I sat and we'd have a chat, he'd say, there is one thing that I know. When you work all the week, it's awfully sweet to wear Sunday go meeting clothes. Now your Sunday go meeting clothes, he said, are the best clothes that you got. Not like at all what you wear all week or don't wear when it's hot. On that day of rest, you should look your best. Take your girl and be her beau. Shave off your scruff and don't talk so rough in your Sunday go meeting clothes. Now getting dressed up sure would be all messed up. I bet home your time did pass. So on with the cap and off with the lad and stand in the back for mass. Then back home for dinner, little less of a sinner, to a family that continues to grow. Should her looking as good as any crowd could in their Sunday go meeting clothes. And with the place cleared away, you had the rest of the day to drink tea on the lawn. In this small town, there's always someone around, always something going on. And if the sun was high in that southern sky, well, you'd find somewhere to go. Sure, everyone else looked just like ourselves in their Sunday go meeting clothes. So do your best, he said to me, and work for what you get. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, I'm sure you will learn it yet. And I often think when I'm having a drink, I could have learned more I know. But one little tale that will never fail, to where Sunday go meeting close. Now I don't count the days since we laid them away, on the hill where the lilac grows. We laid him to rest, just the way he liked best, in his Sunday go meeting clothes.